Hey everybody, this is the Titanic Gamer Dude here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil 7 on Madhouse Difficulty. This was the video I deleted, and this was the footage that was uh, going to be used, but, you know, like an idiot, and I accidentally deleted it. So, um, now I'm pretty much just, uh, forced to, uh, just record this part over again. And, uh, yeah, this is on an entirely separate file. That I had to do from scratch. So, uh, yay me for sucking. So, coming up here, there's going to be a four-legged molded. Um, I would not advise you try to avoid this enemy. It just, <laughs> it's just too fast. And, uh, although avoiding it is possible, you know, there's no, there's no real place you can hide. And you're going to end up taking a lot of block damage. Hold on, let me make sure I have... Ooh, excuse me, everything together. Alright. So... You can skip past this molded. Other times you can't. It really all depends, really. But yeah, you can just go around that guy. You can just go around that guy. Sometimes... If you're not fast enough, the molded will actually, like, uh, get in the way. And, uh, that's not what you want. <clears throat> but there's not really much you'd be able to do about it, because the enemies in this game can be, like, they can be really passive sometimes, and other times they'll just be really aggressive. And, uh, you'll encounter something similar to that in, like, narrow places. So here's Ethan. But yeah, as I was saying, the enemies can sometimes be really aggressive, and then other times they'll just be really passive. And you'll notice this the most when you're uh, just like trying to walk, walk by them when they spawn, and sometimes they'll just hit you. And other times you'll be hugging their shoulders, and you're, you'll be, Ethan will be putting his hand on their shoulders, and they won't even attempt to just scratch him with their claws. So, due to the psychic connection all the people infected with the mold have, he's talking, I think the dead Jack is talking to the now alive Ethan, but Ethan is just unconscious. And this is before Mia gets us. Yeah, so this is basically just explaining, you know, where Evelyn came from and, yeah. <laughs> the lighting is a little bright. Believe it or not, the brightness setting is actually set to the lowest possible setting. You're a different person after that. Yeah, we can tell. Yep. Yeah, well, because she was raised in the lab, and no one really... Everyone around her was cautious because of her power, but, uh... I mean, what do you expect? If you don't properly raise your children, they're going to turn out... bad. So Jack is just begging Ethan to free his family from Evelyn's grasp and control. She does not understand morality. Like, any, like she wants people to join her family. She forces them to do it. And if they don't want to be in her family, then she'll just dispatch of them. Pretty sad if you ask me. <clears throat> but since this is the good ending, um, we get pulled out of the mold. And Mia guides us to the door, and she tells us to leave, and she can't resist Evelyn for much longer. Get Evelyn's tissue sample.
pretty sad. <laughs> Mia says for us to go kill that little B-I-T-C-H. So now we're playing as Ethan again. And, uh... <laughs> There's a wall hidden antique coin there. There's another one I missed. Well, there is another one that I missed on um, the re-record of this. I mean, the last recording of this. And uh, it's, it's coming up. It's all these poor fish. Well, they're just fish. All that missed out protein, though. So we got to crouch into this. Yeah, the water makes us move rather slowly. I think. Coming up here, anyway. Yeah, there it is. Really well hidden antique coins. <clears throat> I'm going to have to uh, edit out. It's not edit out, but um, do I want to speed it up or edit out my inventory management? Uh, I'll just edit it out. Because it's going to take some time to do. But before I do, there's a radio there. Um, I don't actually have to answer it. Yeah, cassette tape. So yeah, let me just <laughs> cut it here and I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, I'm back. With that editing out of the way, or just with all this uh, unneeded uh, inventory management out of the way, I can uh, just get back to doing things it's the way they're supposed to be. And uh, yeah, I, I can't get the assault coin because uh, yeah, there's just not enough. Uh, antique coins but yeah up here there's gonna be like a bunch of molded but uh with the enhanced uh handgun ammo i can just uh snipe their heads off which that is what i would advise doing because there's a lot of them and uh yeah there's nothing more annoying than having to deal with these damn enemies so yeah a few of them should spawn yeah that one's dead you can actually get on the elevator without having to fight any of them and you just have to press this button and once the uh, elevator activates uh... they can't get in and you can actually progress but uh... if that doesn't happen then they're going to get in and you won't be able to uh... <laughs> go down and progress to the game so they can be annoying in that sense so coming up here, there's going to be a wave of molded, and uh, there's going to be a surprise four-legged molded coming up, and uh, it, it, it can get pretty nasty, and it should drop right now. Um, yeah, you can just... Okay, let me just block that attack. Uh-oh, that's not good. Um, there we go. I killed it before it could kill me. Let me just use one of those. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna blow that one up. There's shotgun shells here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, run through these guys because, uh, I don't want to deal with them right now. I'm gonna do the same here. I don't want to have to deal with these molded. So, uh, I'm just going to just avoid them. And, uh, don't go on the right of this cart. Well, the salt in it. You want to go on the the left of it. You come up to it. Wow, that guy usually gets hit. But yeah, coming around this corner, they'll despawn, and uh, you'll be safe. So yeah. I think this explodes. Yeah, it explodes. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't hit that one. It's been a while since I've played the game. Even though I played it like two days ago. But 48 hours. A lot can happen within 48 hours. So here's an herb. There's steroids. Because the game gives you more steroids to work with. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to 
take the steroids now. Yeah, there's supplements here. Yeah, your max health increased. Yay! So we just put the uh, Evelyn tissue sample in to make E neurotoxin. And uh, there's a bunch of uh, reports here that will like tell you of Evelyn and her unique mutation and how powerful it is and what she what her purpose was when she was created what they were trying to do what practical applications they were trying to do so um, with our supplements we can just make more neuro rounds and uh, yeah that's pretty much it Oh yeah, there's a separating agent, so uh... Yeah, I'm gonna combine it with just one, so... I can make some more uh, strong chem fluid. And uh, yeah, you can't ever be too safe near the end of the game. So let me just open that door. <laughs> there we go. Just come back and get the E neurotoxin and then go open up the lockbox. Even though all of this is pretty much unnecessary because I already uploaded the part in which uh, you fight the enemy spawns and everything. But uh, I'm just doing this for the heck of it. You'll see there's magnum ammo in there in case you need some magnum ammo. But uh, you want neuro rounds. Trust me, there's a particularly dangerous part coming up and... Uh, Neuro rounds will help with it. Yep, there we go. Uh, there's really no need for me to save at this point. Because, I mean, it's literally right around the corner, the place I have to be. But, uh, yeah. I might as well just say it early, but um, if anybody enjoyed this part, comment, you know, like, favorite, subscribe, you know, and I will just catch you all later. <laughs> so, you know, I was literally like right here and uh, yeah, so peace out.